Ever wondered how doctors fix a blocked neck artery to prevent a stroke? Well, if you're asking, chances are your blood flow is moving slower than a Windows XP startup. Your carotid arteries, sitting on both sides of your neck, are supposed to keep your brain alive, but years of deep-fried regret and stress have turned them into clogged sewage pipes. If this blockage isn't handled, you'll either drop mid-sentence or wake up in the ICU, blinking at a nurse who's already betting against you on the hospital's Deadpool. First, we sedate you because no one wants you freaking out like a horror movie victim. We make a small incision in your groin or arm because nothing screams medical innovation like shoving a tube up your leg to fix your neck. A catheter basically a tiny hose for your blood is snaked through your artery like a back alley plumber fixing a crack dense pipes. Since we don't do this blind like a bad first date, we use a fluoroscope a live x-ray, and inject contrast dye so we can actually see what the hell we're doing. To make sure we don't accidentally send debris to your brain and turn you into a drooling vegetable, we place a tiny filter past the blockage. Think of it as a condom for your bloodstream, catching the bad stuff before it ruins your life. Then a balloon-tipped catheter is inflated to smash the plaque against the artery walls, like a mob boss making sure a snitch learns his lesson. If your artery refuses to cooperate, we shove in a stented tiny metal cage to keep it open, because clearly, your body can't be trusted to do its damn job. Once we're done, we pull everything out, slap on a bandage, and leave you to question your life choices while the drugs wear off. No stitches, no giant scars, just a subtle reminder that you should probably stop eating like you're trying to speedrun a heart attack. Follow your care plan, make some better decisions, and maybe just maybe you won't end up back here with your arteries looking like a blocked porn site.